Hey guys, this is Doug with fellowshipofthemartyrs.com. Want to do uh, some new videos for you today. Feel a little bit motivated. Got a little bit of time right now. Schedule seems to be fairly clear. Uh, emails fairly caught up and other things. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk to you a little about church. Um, I'm not going to take credit for this as uh, some revelation from the Lord. Um, I got an email earlier today from uh, someone that's part of the church in Indianapolis, Indiana, and um, was really cool, really cool. And um, I agree and harmonize with it, and I wanted to make a video about it and share it with you. Um, and just talk a little bit about what's wrong with church. Um, there seems to be this thing that says that we're to not forsake the gathering together. Uh, but that's not exactly what it says. What it says is we're not to forsake the assembling together. And there's a big difference between gathering and assembling. I've been in lots of gatherings. I've been in lots of places where people get together, but they aren't actually assembled. Um, you can have a puzzle in a box, and all the pieces are there, and you can shake them. And they're gathered, and they're dancing, and they're doing stuff, but they're not assembled. And we are living stones that are supposed to be assembled into his temple. <clears throat> And there's a lot of people that seem to be frustrated, and rightly so, with the fact that they're gathering, and they're gathering, and they're gathering, and they're gathering, and the puzzle isn't getting put together. All these little pieces are jangling around together, but nobody's getting assembled into the beautiful masterpiece that it's supposed to be when everyone is, is fit together um, according to the Lord's will and how he's made them. In order for there to be an assembly, in that sense of the word, there has to have been a designer. There has to have been somebody that has a plan for how the finished puzzle should look. And, and it's very unlikely, since the pastor didn't create those people, that the pastor really has a plan about how they should be put together. Because he doesn't know all the ins and outs and the and the you know how they might fit together because he's not their creator now i believe that the box is the city that the proper biblical model is the city church one body per per city under christ church of ephesus church of smyrna church of laodicea the churches in galatia well, galatia is not a city Galatia is a region. And so I believe that within that city, there are a certain number of puzzle pieces that are supposed to be assembled a certain way to see the maximum, most beautiful picture. You can put a puzzle together upside down, or you can cram some pieces together that don't belong, but the picture is not going to be what it's supposed to be. It might be attractive, it might be colorful, but it's not, uh, it's not the perfect picture that it was supposed to be when all the pieces are, are fitted together exactly as they're supposed to be. And only the Creator can do that. So we have to get out of His way. And I think we need to forsake the gathering together. I think we need to completely and totally reject gathering together. You can have a ball of mar a bag full of marbles, and they just jangle and clatter and, and knock around on each other. So what? So you're gathered. That's entirely different than assembled. I used to play with Erector sets a lot when I was a kid, and and, and Legos and all this stuff, and 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 build things and make things and want and want to follow the directions about how to put it together to see the little firehouse or the or the you know the little Star Trek 
um, Star Wars ship that you were going to build or whatever. Only God knows how to assemble the living stones that he shaped. In the Old Testament, they were to make an altar with undressed stones. That means that they were not shaped with a tool. You take them as the wind, as the, as the water, as sunshine, whatever, shape them, and you build an altar with them, arrange the best you can. No mortar um, between the rocks. You just set the rocks as solidly together as you can the way the Lord shaped the rocks. You don't knock their rough edges off and square them off and make bricks uh, like an altar of Baal um, with, with bricks and mortar and make it square and make it even and make it perfectly whatever box shape the way you want. That's, the Lord said, no, you leave the stones the way I shaped them and try to fit them together as best you can according to my plan. You can build a very solid wall with undressed stones. There's all over Ireland and England and whatever, you can see hedgerows built with undressed stones just fitted together as best you can with the rock just the way it was. The Lord isn't so interested in sealing every crack and knocking off every rough edge. We, we are entirely uh, entirely too driven by our sort of Protestant work ethic sense of having to have it just so. And he, he, he seems to be okay with it messy. He seems to be okay with it rough around the edges a little bit. Um, because we're honoring his creation and fitting them the best we can based on how he shaped them, not how we've modified his creation to fit our design. Even when David and Solomon are building the temple, <clears throat> the Lord said there was to be no sound of a tool in the temple. They had a quarry somewhere where they, they made the stones, measured them perfectly, and then transported them to the temple and set them one onto another. And, this, and the seams were so tight that you could not get a piece of paper to fit between these stones. You couldn't even see the seams. They were so carefully constructed elsewhere. And then when they came into the temple, there was, to be, there was to be no sound of a tool in the temple. I think we have temples now that are filled with the sounds of tools. Knocking their rough edges off, forcing them into our mold, shaping them the way we think they should be shaped, tell them to worship the way we do, cry the way we do, or don't cry at all, and uh, believe the way we do or else. That's not what happens here despite whatever people say, you, you're welcome to believe whatever you want. If the Lord says you're in the book of life, then you're my brother, you're my sister, and i got to love you. And we got to learn how to get along without devouring one another. I don't care if you agree with me uh, about the cup model or the red dragon or whatever. Um, if I'm right, the Lord will work it out with you sooner or later. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, my job is to love you. And let the Lord work it out with you. And uh, that's a hard thing. You have to be willing to allow for a certain amount of dissonance, for a certain amount of somebody next to you singing off key, and, 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 but trusting that the conductor will take care of it. It's not your job. You just mind your own instrument. Um, anyway, I think we should forsake gathering together. I think if you're in a place and you realize we're just jangling. Yeah, we're all here, but we're not accomplishing anything. That's that's we're we're not getting assembled. We're not we're not fitting together. We're we're just jangling. Then stop it. Get up and leave. Raise your voice and say this is useless and pointless, and I don't want to play this anymore. And what are we doing? What are we accomplishing? Have we have we obeyed the Lord? Did we even ask the Lord? how we're supposed to be fitted together. We need to kind of lead a rebellion of the people that have been slaves to a system that isn't getting it accomplished. It's just 
leftovers from Constantine that have corrupted the whole model of church, the whole model of what it's supposed to be to assemble together. Anyway, something to think about. Hope that makes you go, hmm. Thanks for listening. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Send it out to friends. Let folks know that we're here. We're up over 3,000 subscribers now. And, uh, you know, getting close to 2 million views. Uh, we had some videos that had a lot of views that we took down. But across, um, across YouTube... Right now, we're 1.3, 1.4 something million views on our videos, which is nothing compared to Mikey Bit My Finger or, you know, Dancing Unicorns at the dentist's office or whatever. But for some of the truth that's being spoken here and for some of the hard things that people don't want to hear, I think that's pretty good. I think God's getting the right people in front of the videos. And uh, praise God for that. If you want to help, maybe get them out to some more folks. And, um, um, I don't really care about the numbers. That's not the point. But I know that I'm getting email after email after email of people walking closer to the Lord, getting delivered of fear or lust or addictions of one sort or another after watching the videos and praying together and counseling. And, and they're really being helped and get closer to God. And to, to whatever degree we can do that to as many people as possible, praise God, I, I want to be a part of that. So, anyway, think about it. Uh, ask the Lord how you're supposed to be assembled. Because it's not just the church, it's you too. Maybe the pieces of you are just jangling around and he hasn't put them together to, so that you can see the puzzle as it's supposed to be and how beautiful it is when all the pieces of you are put together. And uh, under his headship, under his direction. And you can see what the puzzle of your life is supposed to look like. Anyway, that's all for now. Lots more at fellowshipofthemartyrs.com. Thanks.